Hi there, I'm Chris from Aspect Maintenance. I work for an electrical company in the centre of London. Today we're just going to have a brief look at a pendant light and what way you would wire it and connect it and stuff like that. Here we have the pendant itself. This is how you would buy it with the, the pendant connected. The switch side, there's the neutral bar there. The three in the middle being the, um, the permanent live. So the way that would work is you'd obviously have your neutral coming in. You would mount your pendant on the roof so the cables would come in the back, drill a hole for that, put it over, cables would come in the back, take your neutral straight in to the neutral bar as such, using 1.5 cable, just tighten it up, again just, just hand tight, not too much, you would then have the switch live that would come in and connect into this side, if we can just get that in there. That'll be the side that comes from the switch. So when you hit the switch, this light, this will become live. When you turn the switch off, it'll become dead. And then we'd have the permanent live. This just loops in and loops out. We tend to label it with a sort of bit of tape just so that we never get confused. So we'd always know that that's the permanent live. Again, like the rest, it'll just come in. And it'll go into there. You'll have that in most domestic houses. The purpose that serves is if you need to loop on to another light, you'll come out of either the switch side if you want it to come on at the same time, or if you want it to start again, you basically you come out of the permanent live side and onto the next light, and that would allow you to loop lights together. And that's the basic connection of a, um, of a pendant light.